<laughs> See, I got the thing is with me, you dig. I, I need to know some more about. It. I wish you had some more literature about the educational thing here, because you dig. As far as we concerned, you know, in the struggle, when we look at struggle, is that uh, this depends on the educational thing, you dig. Because of this depends on the education. Well, the whole thing. No, but in the end, this does. You you can form this with no education. You can uh, form this. this. No, not the way we're talking about forming it. You know, right. We're talking about forming it. Right. You know, it's not on the paper. We didn't write it on no, the paper. No, form it right with no education. No. Let me give you an example. Uh, you, you, your Mo Kenyatta formed the excellent revolution with no education. And on the day of the end thing, your Mo told the motherfucker, I said, well, uh, you know, uh, you've been educated to uh, uh, hate the enemy, but uh, I'm your brother. I'll help you lead the revolution. Now I'm more pressure. Another example, Papa Doc in Haiti. Papa Doc in Haiti hated everything white. Man, you couldn't put this white paper in front of Papa Doc's face. Seeing but he moved all the white people out, and he took over them to be yeah, oppressed. Yeah, he did, because of no education. Oh, yeah. And the people that had been educated, they just said that we don't hate the motherfucker uh -huh. white people. We hate the oppressor, whether he be white, black, brown, or yellow. So we got to know your educational program to find out what it's going to be in the finale. A lot of people work. Your Mo Kenyatta is called not a never a revolutionary, but an ex-revolutionary. So it's Papa Doc. They brought on a successful revolution. That thing in the mom house was a bitch. Bantu freedom fighters, all that kind of action. But what we're saying is that it's the end. That you don't judge Castro now. You can't do it. Nobody in this room could judge whether Castro's going to be a revolutionary or not. Uh, you know what I mean? We're talking about things, you know what I mean, uh, with uh, China, the People's Republic, and even at the stage they're in now, talking about even going on further into a communistic state. That's what we're talking about. Those are revolutionary. So we got to understand here the educational program that you have to be able to figure out whether it will go on the right lines where the people will end up in a situation where they can be able to really control themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, with no education, the people that take this local foundation and start stealing money because they won't be really educated to why it's the people's thing anyway. You understand what I'm saying? With no education, you have neo-colonialism instead of colonialism, like you got in uh, Africa 9, like you got in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Haiti. So what we're talking about is there has to be uh, an educational program. That's very important. As a matter of fact, we are so important for us that a person has to go through six weeks of our political education before he can consider himself a member of the party, able to even run down ideology for the party. Why? Because if they don't have an education, then they know where. You dig what I'm saying? They know where because they don't even know why they're doing what they're doing. You, you might get people caught up in the emotionless movement. Uh, you understand me? You might be, get them caught up in because they're poor and they want something. And then if they're not educated, they want more. And before you know it, they'll be capitalists. And before you know it, we'll have Negro imperialism. 